wasn't at all. Bouncy, 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 oh! <laughs> it's okay, I've survived! Here's the fun house! <laughs> and they're just as bad at that as I am, but they haven't got a pogo stick to prove it. Melanie and Martina! <laughs> and uh, we have some contestants for you today. Do we have some contestants for you? Oh, we do, good, we got some, good. Here they come, bring them on! <laughs> I'm ever so pleased we've got some contestants, because this show is just rubbish without them, I tell you. Because Melanie and Martina and me have to go for all the guns, and we don't like it, do we? No. Yes. We do? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Who you have? This is Nicola and Stephen from Slough, and they both attend the beach with secondary school. Yeah! yeah! Oh, look so keen. Look at that. Give me that year again. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> I'm afraid you're too keen. You'll have to be replaced by someone dull. Oh. No, you're fantastic. Keep it up. What about the Reds? Are they as good? Yeah, of course they are. This is Jennifer and this is Chris and they're from Manchester and they attend the Broad Oak High School! Yeah! Yeah! I think they might have been better. Let me <laughs> see that again. Yeah! It's going to be a tough decision. We're going to have to play some games to find out who's the best. Good luck to all our contestants on the Fun House today. Yeah! Here's what it's all about then. We have three fun field games today, as always, worth 25 points to the winning team each time around. One of them is a key game, so you can pick up on a couple of other points, even if you actually lose the 25. <laughs> After each game, bring you back here, hit those lights, get 25 points for the correct answer to a question, and then it's the Fun Cart Grand Prix, also worth 25 points, as you know, for the first team to cross the line after hitting those plungers, and then a trip inside that very fun house. So please, enjoy the show. Can you take the girls and get them ready? Yeah, sure. Uh, Aye, so the girls are going to be in the first game. They're going to like this one. Real rip-roarious game for them, where they will be sliding down a very large slide in Arctic conditions as penguins. To the penguin pool we go. Something fishy going on here. Let's go and have a look over there. <laughs> Just in time for perky penguins. Mind you, judging by how cold it is at the moment, it should be called pinky penguins, I think. All sorts of pink bits here, but, uh, ugh. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. Ugh. Well, I'll put that one in anyway. There we go. <laughs> well, you know, that's what it's all about. No, have a close look, look. It's all fish, even though they're funhouse fish, and one real one stuck in the middle. Yep. You will have to decide which is which, <laughs> and you have to grab the ones that have been half eaten. Marvellous, says penguins. Up you go, up to the top, then go on. Your Careful. mission, girls, should you decide to accept it, and, uh, you have no choice, <laughs> is to slide down the slides, obviously, as opposed to up them, it's much easier to go down, and uh, make your way to the bottom without falling over, like falling over on the way up the steps. And then when you get down to the very bottom, you grab as many of these as you can, one at a time, one slide for each fish, and put them in the boxes. It really couldn't be easier. <laughs> um, uh, I'll take the plate with me then and do some washing up while you play the game. On your marks, get set, go! 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 particularly marvellous. <laughs> I thought it was particularly marvellous when they fell over like that. No! And you had to pick up a penguin. They did right. very well. So how many okay. did we get? Reds oh. first. Right. We got... No pushing. 
We got three! Yeah! OK, Martina, how many do you get? <laughs> we got three! Yeah! So it's a draw. Let's rerun some of that penguin fun. Penguins, it was. Nice to see you picking up so well. 25 points each. Yeah! Seems pretty fair and square. Boys, your question, you've done absolutely nothing yet. You've been standing there like lemons. So here we go. Danny DeVito played the part of which villain in the film Batman Returns? Make a guess. Penguin. Thank you, Reds. Yeah! It couldn't have been easier, could it? 25 yellows, the Reds go ahead with 50 this week. Yeah! Now, Nicola, before you uh, disappear on out of all your funny outfit there and uh, get ready for the next game by the pool, I've got to ask you, Nicka Boca Glory. I mean, I know your name is Nicola Izemia, is that how Asania. I say it? Azania. Oh, I see, right. So uh, you get Nicka Boca Glory out of that as a nickname, yeah? Yeah. And you want to be a makeup artist and a beautician. Is there anything you could do with this face? <laughs> well, no, a lot. Give up. A lot. <laughs> Fair enough, right, you guys go and get ready. Take the boys with you. I want to see them real messy because. Ladies and gentlemen, as the kids leave the building, they prepare themselves to go to Blue Hawaii and set themselves up as Elvis Presley's. Then you're going to like this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Here we go. Oh. Made it, and uh, what a beautiful place as well this is here as I place on my garland and get my guitar ready to play. Have a look at our Elvises because they are absolutely wonderful. The only trouble is, since Elvis disappeared, he's turned into two girls which is a nice trick if you can do it. And the boys have also turned into two girls because they are dressed in their rather nice grass skirts. Confused? You won't be after this game. Our Elvises will jump in. They will go under the funhouse waterfall, collect the garland one at a time, bring it back, place it over their grass-skirted girl's neck. And the one with the most around their neck at the end of the 60 seconds will be the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to leave the building once again. On your marks! Get set, go! Don't put that one on. Don't put that one on red. Just count up the yellows. Off we go, Martina. OK. We managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah! Yeah! A absolutely splashing result. And how did we get on over there? I can't quite hear you. <laughs> we got one. I said, you're ugly. Shut up. We got one, <laughs> two, three, four, Yellow points, rerun the fun! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the yellow team. Thank you very much. 25 points! Yeah! And we're pleased to know that later on in the show I'll be doing an Elvis Presley impression. Oh. OK, here's a girl's question for you, because it was rubbish, and uh, I'm sure you'll do pretty well at this. Which instrument was Elvis most famous for playing? Reds. Guitar. Guitar is yeah! right, yes! So you streak into the lead or you strum into the lead. 50 yellows, 75 to the Reds, go ahead. Yeah! Just hear your guitar, Nicola. I believe it's still working even after the water, yeah? Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so take the boys away, change them out of their outfits for our final game. Because we're off to the gym, they're going to be weightlifters. It's a uh, 
kind of sandpapery type of game, as you'll see, with all sorts of guns splashing everywhere, with a bit of help from the sandpaper, in step and go! <laughs> Fantastic. So here we are. Dumbbell. Here you go. Dumbbell. <gasps> oh, I wouldn't say that to you. Of course not. No. No, that's a bit heavy for me. Let me put that one down. Oh, okay. So here we are with step and go. It'll be very easy. Can you just lift your just lift your feet up? There we are. Thank you very much. That explains everything now about the sandpaper that I was talking about. Because your job will be, and I wish you'd stand up when you're talking to me. Uh, your job, oh you are. Uh, your job will be to smash as many balloons as you possibly can with your sandpapery feet. If they weren't sandpapery, obviously you'd slip off them. So that's why we've done that. Then, after you've done each balloon, you go around here. On your knees or on your legs or whatever you call them. I can't be sure now. You've got so many feet. Grab one of these soap on a rope and put it around your neck. <laughs> wow! In our long-running soap opera, we'll be asking you to pick up points as far as runners-up are concerned as well for the key game. It's as simple as that. There's 60 seconds to do it. Let me just get this out of the way and uh, I'll be on my way. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks. Right. <laughs> on your marks, get set, go! go! It was basically a, um, well, I suppose it's fair to say a hideous ordeal, wasn't it? There you go. And that was just for me, and I was watching. I mean, the extra sort of uh, step and go soap that came down and guns was marvellous. So, how many did we get for the mellow yellows? We got one, two, three, four, five! Yeah! <laughs> and the reds. <laughs> And we've got ourselves some yellow points. Let's rerun that Gunji fun. <laughs> that was the world famous step and go. While you were doing the going, I thought I'd do the stepping, so I stepped out a shot and got away from all the mess. And it was uh, quite messy, wasn't it? But you did okay, so well done. Four points to the red team, okay, for the runners up there and uh, the key game. And 25 to the yellows. <laughs> Red slightly in the lead, 79 plays 75. Here's a question for the boys. Are you ready? This takes us into the Grand Prix. Very important, very close at the moment. Here we go. Name any piece of equipment in a school gymnasium. <laughs> Reds. Balance beam. Balance beam, good for me. 25 yeah! points, yes. So now, 75 for the yellows. The Reds into the lead with 104. Yeah! I know that you and Jennifer have something in common. Come on, you can both tell me at the same time. What do you both love? What do you love? You both love? Man United Football Club. Yeah, I see, she wasn't sure. She was waiting to find out. Yeah, because you're in Bury, aren't you? She's pretty nearby. How long have you both supported them? All my life. All your life? Not just since they became double champions and double champions and double champions. <laughs> no. We'll see how they get on the end of this season, eh? Mmm, wonder what will happen. I wonder what will happen in the Fun Car Grand Prix because the girls are ready to bring on the carts and I hope you're ready to be driven wild at home. Let's do it! <laughs> Here we are, all ready to go. Yes, you're just adjusting all your bits. Make sure this zip is done up tight here. We don't want any trouble here in the Fun Cart Grand Prix because there are three laps about to happen. I wonder who's going to go first, girls or boys? I'm going. Yeah, you go. Oh, one girl, one boy. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. A mixed bag, no problem, no problem. Okay, here's the rules you need to know, okay, just in case you're wondering. There aren't really any rules except drive safe. That's obviously quite important because these are real go-karts, petrol driven. Three laps on the first lap, try and hit the plungers that are worth 10 points. On the second lap, 25 point plungers. And when you drive, a little tip for you here, I know you've had a rehearsal this morning before the show, but I suggest you don't actually pull up to it, stop, 
and then hit it. Try and go past it and dink and carry on and dink like that. Try and, you know, it's a bit of rhythm to it, you know, stuff like that. That will mean your flow is so much better for the final lap, where, if you cross the line first, you will get 25 points. So let's do it. Here we go. All right. You're not noisy, are you? Good, because that's just what I want. Right, watch the lights. Five, four, three, two, one, go! You lot been 25 <laughs> points to the yellow team. <laughs> but that still puts the reds in the lead. So let's count up the reds and see how well you did. Are you ready? As soon as I hit this light, it will show us how many 25s and how many 10s you managed to plunge and how many lights you managed to turn on around the course. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Maximum 10s, but just two 25s. Right, Nick, Nax and Stephen, are you ready? It's your big moment. Here we go. <laughs> Maximum yes! both. Now, hang on, hang on. That means that, basically, you guys are going into the funhouse! Yes! Yes, 194 over here, plays 240 over there. You did some amazing catching up, thanks to the fact that the Reds, I'm afraid, just had a problem hitting those 25 plungers. But they don't go away empty handy by any means. They do get one of these, which is a... Well, I'll say it's personal. It's personal if you're very big, and you're quite small, you two, but uh, <laughs> there we go. It's, it's from me, okay. personally, to you two. There we go, it doesn't shoot. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's what I do to Melanie when she models the hat as well. There you go. Let's have a look, then. What have you got? The hat, the jacket... Just about everything you need. So thank you very much for playing, Chris and Jennifer. Wow, well, this is it. Look at her. She's so chuffed to have come this far. She just can't believe it. You're going to get hotter in a minute when you find out how hot these prizes are. Gary King has the details. Why don't you guys come on down and join us? Bolt through the ball run and grab the surprise goodie bag. Skid down the slip and slide to get this groovy game selection. An electronic book is yours if you wander down the wild slide. Find a fun frisbee mixed up in the monster maze. Disco down the danger net and bop till you drop with this personal stereo. Lights, camera, action. You're in the director's chair if you can bedazzle the balloon tunnel. As you bolt down the bobsleigh, try on these trendy trainers. How about a fab fashion watch waiting in the crawl tube? Don't fidget at the fireman's pole to pinch the pen set. Flash across the flying fox and you can reach for this racket bag. Nip up the net ladder and discover the mystery prize. Scare the snake in the box to have the best highlights in town with this hair care set. Bob and Boogie with these bungee headphones attached to the A-frame. Create a brilliant impression with this ultimate art set. It's in Gone Crazy. And one small step for man, one giant leap for you. Bag this badminton kit. It's on the giant steps. So, there we are, Nicola and Stephen. A big list of prizes. What will you be going for? Um, I want the um, personal CD. Personal CD for you? Yeah, mm. Steve? I want the... Trendy trains. Trendy trains. Okay. Just one each. They're very generous because that will save us a fortune if they only get one <laughs> each. However, I think they might pick up on a few more. These are the tags that are sitting in the fun house. You just pull them off and grab them three at a time. There's 15 of them in total. One of them will correspond to the chance for Mel to bring on the power price question for you at the end of the two minutes. Let's see what the power price is this week from Gary King. Gary? 
Surf the net and cruise the information superhighway with this incredible computer, sound system and printer. Your very own PC printer, the whole nine yards. But first of all, let me show everybody at home, and not you, I'm afraid, where the special tag that's connected to the power prize is. Have a look now. <laughs> the sound it will make is this when you do it. <laughs> That'll wake you up and get you going, make you think, yes, yes, I got a chance. Right? If you don't hear that sound, you don't have a chance. There isn't even a chance to ask the question. So I trust it's on the route that you've got worked out there. Good luck. Two minutes. And who's going to go first? Yeah. Steve, good luck to you, mate. Feet on the steps. Remember, you high five after three tags. And your camera here will show everybody where you're going. Same for Nick's there, OK? And we've got cameras all inside yeah. the funhouse, which will show everybody at home that you're coming towards them as well. So basically, we've got it all covered. On your marks, get set. Let's have a finger licking party. Go! <laughs> Down. Come on down. Fantastic. The way you did that, you got that one at the very end there, snuck back in. And I'm going to change your name from Nix to Gymnastics, because you went a flying fling over one of them, didn't you? It was brilliant. Uh, we've got ourselves the badminton kit each. I say ourselves. They are for you, but, you know, I'm willing to share. Uh, we've also got the electronic book each. The personal stereo set. The ultimate art set. The pen set. The fashion watch, no set. <laughs> Mystery prize is the bowling bash. All right. <laughs> Trendy trainers, that's what you wanted, Steve. The bungee headphones <laughs> and the game selection. Well done. Give them a round of applause. Oh, yeah! The good news is today we heard the power prize sound in the crawler tube. So come on, Mel, bring it on. <laughs> You did. Oh, you did. Ready for this? Mm. Yeah, let me squeeze in the middle of this. My show. <laughs> Name three months of the year beginning with J. January, January July, and June. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's the bad news you weren't happy enough. We're taking away your prize. No, I'm just kidding. You're absolutely brilliant. She looks so chuff. Look at her. Fantastic. We have more Funhouse winners on the biggest giveaway show on CITV. See you soon.
Caves, the Fun Car Grand Prix Race, and the Crazy Chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into Fun House, Pat Shaw! I just thought I'd drop in to tell you this is the Fun House! What a dynamic start. What an arrival to the show. And do have a look at the superstars, Melanie and Martina. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough looking. Now let's bring on the players for today's games. Come on. <laughs> and how marvellous they look today. Look at them. They, they look better than my entrance on that parachute. They're smiling and they're clean and... Uh, they're mighty fine. They're mighty fine. Who do you have, yellows? This is June. From Scotland, and they both attend the Presswick Academy. Yeah! 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 They're wild. <laughs> They're gonna have to be curbed and calmed down. Okay, Mel. Right, we have Leah and Tom, and they're from Cambridgeshire, and they attend the Southern Village College. Yeah! 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 Pretty wild as well. Pretty wild as well. So look at this. We've got June McNeil, nicknamed Junie, <laughs> Presswick Academy. Aye, aye. <laughs> Do you laugh and giggle all the time? <laughs> mm. She looks a bit like Frank Spencer. <laughs> Do you talk as well? Yeah. Oh, good. All the time. Oh, well done, well done. Well, you can't talk all the time today because uh, we're actually going to have a lot of fun in between the talking with lots of games. And I'd like to wish all our contestants good luck in the fun house today. Yeah! Now, here's how it works, just in case you don't know. We've got three games lined up. They're very gungy today, especially the first one, because it's tea time. Tell you more about that in a few seconds' time. After each game, one of which is a key game where the runners-up can also get points for bringing you back here. Hit the lights, answer the questions, 25 points again, just like the games. You don't have to get messy, real easy. Fun Car Grand Prix, 25 points. Into the fun house for the team with the most points. Pick up on the power prize. Everybody goes home, everybody happy. Easy? Yes. Great. Well, it's sorted then. Do take them away, please. Thank you. Bye. Oh, dear. Yes. They're far too clean. I have to make them unseen, and believe me, after this you won't even recognise them. It will be as if they are unseen, because we're about to head off at tea time for the double donut dip! <laughs> now, Mr Sharp makes exceedingly good cakes, as you will agree. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, very nice. Thing is, Funhouse cakes are always a lot more fun, and in this case you will see why, because our donuts are very large. They're people. The trouble is, our donuts are going to have to get messy because they're clean people. We don't like being too clean, so what we're going to do is get you to roll right the way through here, which is the, uh, the chocolate spread, I think, which will help make you a bit more like an eclair mixed with a donut. Uh, while that happens, a bit of jam could come down from here, and then as you make your way over and back one by one to the cream section, which is in here, and it will go over your head, completing your... Uh, your outfit, basically. Uh, you'll do it. Yeah, they do look nice, but uh, all right, go on. There you go. Go on. <laughs> you look after those. Uh, one by one, you will do the double donut and cover yourselves in cream, and the one with the most jugs over their heads, in other words, the team with the most jugs at the end, will be the winner. This is just hideous. I'm going to go and get cleaned up. It's a key game, so the runners up will also receive points here. I wish you luck. On your marks, double donuts. Oh, by the way, do not slip up. Go! <laughs> Spectacular game. I tell you, the best thing about them being donuts was that the actual, the actual donut itself protected them when they fell over. It's like a rubber ring. Brilliant. Yellows. We got ten! Yeah! Go on, Rick. We got ten! Yeah! Unbelievable. 
10 10 till we do it again. Rerun the fun. <laughs> You won't. You won't be licking your lips after that donut game. Mind you, you did okay.